We're going to look now at fitting a laser cut. We've got a laser cut um, grill panel here that's been laser cut from acrylic and we've got a vacuum formed case. Now what we need to do is we need to fit this onto this. Now the tools we're going to use, we've got two types of screwdrivers here. We've got a uh, positive drive screwdriver. We've also got a flat blade screwdriver. Um, I've placed some masking tape onto my vacuum forming um, just to stop it being scratched and to also so that I can mark a center line and the position of my grill where I want my grill to go. So that's quite important to get that position absolutely right. And by putting masking tape on there and marking that on, we've got that absolutely correct. You might find that it's easy to, we're gonna drill holes in here, and you might find it's worth, with a piece of masking tape, actually holding that in position as well, because that's gonna stop that moving around while we're drilling the holes. Now, the screws we're going to use, and if you can see those, they are um, positive drive screws, they're cheese head, it's a machine screw, and it's an M3 thread. So, if we're putting a machine screw in, we need to use what we call a clearance drill. So I've got here a 3.5 millimeter drill, which is gonna give us half a millimeter of clearance so that we have a clearance hole. So I'm just checking that's in the correct position again, and then I'm using a cordless drill just carefully. Watch when you're drilling this, because it's often quite difficult to see when it's actually gonna come through here. Don't have your hands anywhere near. And again, I'm just gonna check that position that that hasn't moved. Just make sure that's in. So there we've got our three holes for our grill panel. So we can now take Now, we've got an option here. We're going to have three holes, which seem to be come out all right, and we can just check that position again for our grill panel, and that's on there. Um, for the actual holes here, for the, the, the siren or the sound to come out, we've got two options. We can actually just drill holes through here, or we could mark a shape. We could mark the shape on here. and mark an area, drill four holes here, and actually just cut out this piece. So we could cut this piece out, or we could drill the holes through, and I'm gonna show you a way to drill the holes through in a minute. We're gonna take the masking tape off now. The masking tape also stops us scratching our vacuum forming is quite important because if you slip with the drill or anything the masking tape is going to protect it. So now we've got to fit the grill on. We've got our masking tape off and we can see there that we've got our holes and what we're going to do here is we're just going to take one of the M3 screws. Could use a spring washer. It's a little bit fiddly in here. So I'm going to put my um, M3 nut on the back and just turn it. Remember it's clockwise to tighten up. So you can see these are quite fiddly to get on. That's why I'm not putting a washer on. A spring washer Now, you may need a, a pair of pliers to just hold the back of that. And I'm just gonna do another one there. Now, we've got a selection of these screws and the 
you can choose if to use a, a flat blade or a positive drive. Now the last thing I'm going to show you once we've got this one on so there's our panel held on and what we've got here is a set of step cutters now these step cutters are designed to cut through thin materials and if you take the cordless drill, hold the chuck, put it in reverse, we're going to open up the chuck. We can place in one of the step cutters. And I say the step cutters are for design, and we can just use this as a template. So what we're doing here is rather than cutting out the whole panel from behind. We're just using the step cutter and we can see there that by using our uh, actual um, might have to just clean this up with a small round file but we can see by using our acrylic panel which we fitted on now and using that as a template we can carefully drill through these holes to give us a nice um, set of holes to let our sound in. So that is fitting um, our grill panel using M3 screws and drilling out the holes.